In this video we want to find the area of the region bounded by the parabola y equal x squared plus 2 which has vertex at 0 2 opens up the line with negative slope y equal minus x the vertical line x equals 0 and the vertical line x equal to 1. So the area that's contained by these curves here is what we want to find the area of so we just want a rough graph of this. So you get a parabola. Comes over here from this side here. Crosses at 0, 2, and then it goes up. Rough sketch there. And then we get the line. This is the line y equal to negative x. Passes through the origin 0, 0. And then the line y x equal to 1. Be this one right here. So we're talking about this area right in here, bounded by these graphs, graph of the parabola and the uh, graph of these lines. This of course is your y-axis. And then the area of this will be given by a definite integral. So what we do is draw a representative rectangle from the top curve to the bottom curve. So we draw it down like this. And like this, and when we take the, evaluate the integral, it's summing up all these little rectangles, an infinite, an infinite number. But this integral will give us the area, eventually when we sum all these up. And of course we use the short method here using the integral, going from x equals zero right there. And again, this is not to uh, scale. And this is line x equal to 1. So it goes from 0 to 1. And it's top curve minus the bottom curve. This will give me the, the length of this rectangular strip. So this would then be x squared plus 2. That's the top curve. And then it's minus the bottom curve. And this, of course, would be the negative x, y equal negative x. So we've got this then, this difference here then represents the length of the rectangle. And then the width is the dx. So this gives me the integral. We're using vertical rectangular strips. Sometimes you, you might have to use horizontal. In that case, the width will be denoted by, uh, by dy. We integrate with respect to y. But in this case, then we go equals to 0 to 1. We got x squared plus 2 and then a minus minus gives me an x. So this I can rewrite this as x squared plus x plus 2 dx. Then we just integrate with respect to x. We've got a basic polynomial here. So we add 1 to the 2 and then divide. So it'd be x to the third over 3 term by term here, and plus exponent on the x is 1, so we add 1 to that, that gives me a 2, so it gives me x squared, and I divide by that, that'll be a 2. I'm going to go up 2 with respect to x, it's just 2x. And then we have the evaluate at the limits of integration, which be 0 to 1. So this is equal to Evaluated 1 first, so this is going to be 1 to the 3rd is 1 third here. 1 to the 3rd would be 3, and then it's over 3, so it's 1 third. Evaluated 1, 1 squared is 1, that's over 2, so it's 1 half. Plus, evaluated x at 1, that'll be 2. And then it's minus the value at 0. So plug in 0 where the x is 0 to the 3rd. 0 over 3 is still 0. 0 squared is 0 divided by 2 is still 0. 0 times 2 is 0. So we get all zeros, so this is going to be 0. And we just add these fractions up. We got 3, 2, and 1 there. So the common denominator is going to be 6. So 3 into 6 is 2 times 1. We okay, 2. 2 into 6 is 3 times 1 will give us 3. 1 into 6 is 6 times 2. Gives us 12. 
at these up we get 17 over 6 and we're dealing with area so we just say square units units are not given but if they were they'd be square square inches square feet so the answer to this one then is 17 over 6 square units thanks for watching we'll see you next time